Hello, everybody. I'm Lewis. I'm Shane. Welcome to another episode of the DD Kong web series. For this episode, we're going to cover the charging system on the DD Kong, kick the power up a notch. For those of you who remember, last year we ran a triple alternator setup brought to us by Tom over at Ohio Generator. Uh, we recontacted Tom, and when we told him we wanted to run six alternators, he kind of balked at us, but they came through for us and uh, they were able to make it happen. We had to remove the three alts from last year, remove that bracket. Anything that was on the driver's side fender well, we had to relocate to make room for the alternators to actually clear. The new bracket from Blue Ghost Industries allowed us to not require the old bracketry that was on there. So I'm guessing that, uh, that red bit bolts to yonder some way and... Yeah, because you end up with one alternator right here and then two down the side like you used to have. Again, you know, everything had to be re relocated on the driver's side. There were relocations on the passenger side as well. Man -ass. If that kind of stuff didn't get done, it would just be a spaghetti junction under the hood and throughout the vehicle. So, you know, safety first, kids. Safety, safety first, kids. Safety first, kids. Safety, safety, safety first, kids. Kids, 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 kids. Aaron, this got his wire run already. Running a switch panel to be able to turn each individual alternator on. As the alternators run, uh, they, they produce a pretty serious amount of heat, and being able to shut them down individually allows us to run as many alternators as are needed for that particular circumstance. Uh, obviously, we don't need all six of them on and charging uh, if, if we're just going to be moving the truck. Uh, over here, I still need to mount and uh, fit. Well, first, I gotta bypass the heater core and then mount and fit the um, alternators here, but we can't do that until we get the boxing. I guess we're unboxing another unboxing for those. Yes. As usual, they were supplied with all the necessary hardware. Thanks again to Tom, uh, our good buddy over at Ohio Generator. We're coming through again with another trio, 300 amp alternator for the second time which equals six alternators. Six alternators, one truck. Just too many in that. Yeah, it should be able to, uh, to provide us more than enough current for us to act the way that we act in public uh, without running the risk of, you know, low voltage damaging any of our equipment. I'm gonna stab in the truck. Not like stab them, but like install them. Anytime you have to install something that is custom fabricated with uh, no instructions at all, uh, it can get a little dicey. What the, f the spacers that were meant to go on the driver's side bracket shaved them down a little bit so that way we could locate our grounds to the back side of the alternator case. We were able to, uh, to, to overcome the lack of instruction and, and still get the, the piece put on there as though it were just plain common sense. Effectively, it allows us to, to maintain a proper functioning voltage uh, to keep the equipment safe and to keep uh, everything powered according to uh, what we're demanding from it. You know, we're, we're running amplifiers that'll draw a thousand amps for the current piece. Um, you know, granted we have a, a monster battery bank back there, again, thanks to JY power, but you know, at the end of the day, a battery is a battery. You still gotta fill the battery back up. So, you know, in, in true, Kong fashion, we figured overkill is the only way, and uh, and six alternators was as many as we could stuff under there at current. It's always next year. <laughs> if any of you are going to be in the Daytona, Florida area, June seventh through ninth. Feel free to come out and get your own demo from the DD Kong. We'll be at the Daytona Truck Meet, giving out these float towels to people that have enough patience. For those who have been waiting since last episode for more unbridled man ass, <laughs> we'll have Shane working on the substage in the Kong for you next episode. Hopefully we'll see you there.